Hey everyone, welcome to my Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Master System speedrun tutorial series. This video is going to cover Crystal Lake 2, the second zone available if you're doing the best ending category. Before we get into the details, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and get into the details of this. Alright, so to start, I don't like doing a jump at the start as it will cause me a lot of times to lose an input at the bottom of this ramp. So I just hold right till I reach the bottom and do a large jump. Take the slope at the at this point, do another large jump to land over here. And around about here, well before you get to the spring, do a small jump small to medium you want to avoid bunking your head and you want to clear this gap of spikes so you want to land over here jump immediately to the spring at this point i go to holding left roll down this and here i actually let go of my d-pad inputs i don't know if it really helps at all but it seems to help me at this point here because as soon as i land i want to jump again and ideally Kind of get the ledge grab right here. I didn't in this video. Once that, I actually lost a bit of speed. Uh, but ideally, you want to land there and immediately you'll be running left with full speed and you can jump into this pinwheel. Jump into this. I go around it twice. Same for this one. Before getting, launching myself up here. I do a small jump. Ideally, I want to land exactly as I did here. Rolling behind this tile wall or whatever you want to call it. Now, this is a point, a part that you just want to memorize. I know right here I need to jump, or I will fall down onto a spring, which will lose me a bit of time. I hold right through this. I've seen some people that jump through it by spamming jump. I don't know that it actually helps much. So, fall down here. At this point, I know to go through one tile and do a jump, which puts me to here. And then immediately do another jump so I don't fall down. And you want to hold left a little bit to land on that spring. Come up, hold right. I don't, I don't fully hold right because I want to get out here and do a jump with the goal of landing on this spring. Now I'm going to wait to hold left. You want to hold left as soon as you can without bonking this. Um, and what this will do is enable me to just hold left and land over here. If I bunked that platform, or if I waited too long to hold left, I would actually fall down here. So instead, what you have to do is land on the platform over to this side of the screen and jump off to over here. So I jump over this ramp, come down to here, jump through this. Sometimes I get that grab there, and that's good. Other times I'll fall to right here and have to jump. Fall down, jump. Now, I hold off here. I know it's possible to make the jump over to here, but I do not often succeed at that. If you fall in this pit right here, it is full of spikes, and you cannot get out. Only in Game Gear version can you escape. So, you're now 36 seconds in, and you're trapped and going to die. Don't want to do that. So, I held back here to land here and take it a bit safe. Jump here. Now, as you land on these, immediately jump off and go the opposite direction to climb up. And once you're on this slope here, I do a jump to land on the spring over here. 
if you miss the spring, you'll be on the bottom path. You'll have to break a lot of blocks to get to the end, but it's fine. It's not too bad. Just keep holding right and avoid the spring down there. However, in this video, I made the jump, landed on the spring, and right here, tap left to slow yourself just a bit, or you will hit this enemy I'm coming up on. In this case, I'm now back to holding right, and I cleared him, and I could jump to the end. And that's all there is to Crystal Egg 2. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments of this video, and thank you for watching.